Today, guys, I've got quite the treat for you. We're gonna open up the Eureka Libra Grinder. And what's special about this Eureka Grinder is that this is one that grinds by weight. It's got an integrated scale, and I'm very curious to see how it does. So let's just open this up together. Before we go any further, I would like to mention that Eureka reached out to me and asked if I would like to take a look at this grinder. And I said, heck yeah, I would. First of all, I'm curious. And secondly, ever since I've had the Eureka Specialita, I've really been a fan of Eureka. But no money exchanged hands. I'm just gonna test this and I'm going to give you my honest opinion. So first of all, it, it comes packed really nice with this styrofoam here. So that's really thick padding. Good to see for international shipments. Here we got the bean hopper. Here it says carry it from the bottom. It's a good idea because these are heavy. Oh my goodness, it is heavy. Okay. Directions. Allen wrench. A dosing funnel. Very nice. Ooh, Ooh wee. That is a nice looking grinder. I do have to say, I've not seen these before in Chrome, at least not in person. And that is a fancy looking grinder, if I do say so myself. Let's put the uh, bean hopper on there one time. So there it is. That is the Eureka Libra grinder. What's nice to see right away is that they've listened to some people kind of complain about the dial wheel on top on the Specialita. It's, it's a bit small and it's kind of hard to see where you're at. This one is slightly larger, so that should make dialing in at least a little easier. And it's going to retain all the great things that the Specialita has. Quietness, I think it's the same size burr inside and a really good flat burr grind that comes out. Before we plug it in, let's see, it is 310 watts. All the grinders in the Mignon line are 310 watts. Yep, made in Italy. So that's one of the things that I think is really sympathetic about Eureka. They actually design and make these grinders in Italy. Awesome. Let's plug it in one time. All right, the handsome display that I'm used to with that white and black crisp display, it's a delight to look at. It's got the one cup preset at seven seconds and the two cup at 14. Actually, is that seconds or is that grams? Probably is grams. Uh-huh, that's interesting. This is where the adjustment is, by the way, for your portafilter, that's really cool. All right, so I plan to pair this Eureka Libra with my Lelit Grace. That's a 57 millimeter portafilter. And so I got a dosing funnel for that size. This is the, the funnel right here. It's got the Eureka logo on there. Very nice. And what's what else is nice about it? I mean, it feels ooh, delightful. I think that's machined aluminum, polished aluminum, and it's got magnets also in there. So that's nice design. Oh, and it attaches perfect. Now all we have to do is loosen that nut on there, lift this up just like that and put it into place. Excellent. Loosen it slightly just so we can get it back out. Very nice. All right, well, I am happy to say that it fits in there nicely and it's got a padding on the bottom. So the padding is gonna to help to keep this portafilter in place while it's grinding and also inhibit the vibrations. Because I have used the Sete 270WI before and although it was a cool grinder, it oftentimes faulted out because it lost its measurement, I think due to the vibrations. So I am very curious to see how well this works. And I'm happy to see that with the funnel on there, it's very easy to take out and put back in. Now, I have to go get some beans and try the sucker out. Come on with me, let's go. All right, so if you're considering a grinder in this price league, the Eureka Libra, then you probably know by now that you need good freshly roasted beans. A lot of these here are not going to do and a lot of them don't even have packaging dates or roasting dates on them. Luckily, this one from Dahlmeyer does at least have a packaging date. You can see it was packaged in February, so that's too old. Look at this one right here. That was packaged in November of last year. So these two are definitely 
much too old. If it's too old, you're not going to get a decent extraction. So I found this one here from Dinsler. It's an excellent roaster in Germany. This one has got a roast date on it, uh, 13th of June. So that is about four weeks old. These will work out real nice. Getting value from this video? Please take a moment to like and subscribe. Alrighty, back from the store. Now let's get to work and see what we can do with these nice beans that I picked up. Now before we do anything else, let's go ahead and find the zero point of this grinder, the calibration point. So what I mean by that is we got to find out where the burrs touch. And don't worry, we are not touching the teeth together. We're not doing like this with the burr teeth. We're doing something more like this, just a momentary slapping together of the flat part of the burr. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's find out where our zero point is. So in order to do that, I'm just going to start the grinder. Then I'm going to slowly turn the knob until I just momentarily hear the burrs touching and then I'm going to back off by a good notch or notch and a half. So let's do it. It stops because it realizes that nothing is coming out and going into the portafilter. Okay, now I've realized what I have to do. Each time that it falls out and stops because it's not noticing anything coming out, you have to remove it and put it back in. Now let's go further with our calibration. Okay, we're close. So the zero point is just about at zero, slightly past it. And what I'm going to do then is I'm going to unwind it until it gets to one. And that I think is going to be a good starting point for our espresso. So let's give that a shot. Now here comes the fun part. Let's go ahead, tear out our scale and let's see how accurate this is at measuring. Tear it out. Let's put this in there. And I want, let's say I want 16 grams. All right, now all I have to do is put the beans in. These are the ones that we just got from the store. I'm filming, by the way, on July 13th. These were roasted on June 13th, so four weeks old and, oh, delightful. 250 grams fits in there just fine. And people say that you need to season the burrs on a grinder. You can see this is a completely new, brand new burr grinder. They do need also to, to just kind of get worked in a little bit, but we're just gonna test it out today. This is a first initial impression that I would like to give you guys of this grinder. So let's just see how it works. I'm going to hit the, the two cup button and see what happens. Okay, I guess I have to remove it again. Put it back in and oh ha huh. it faulted out i wonder why All right, I think I saw it hit 16.2. Let's see. Ah, 15.9, 15.9, nice. That is excellent. I had 16 set up here, and with the very first pull, we hit 15.9. That is delightful. Now, what I plan to do is use this grinder over the next few weeks and get a much better feel for it. This is just an initial impression, but um, that is pretty neat. And what we're gonna do now is just test it out with a Lelic Grace. And let's see what the shot looks like.
right. So we did that shot. That was a two to one ratio and we did it in, I think it was like 30, it was 33 grams. I didn't see what the time was, but I think that the time was, was pretty close to where we should be. Uh, anyway, I'm pretty delighted for the very first try on the Eureka Libra. Let's see how it tastes. Oh yeah, that's nice. Just a little bit on the bitter side. I feel like that ran a little bit long, but beautiful texture on there. And it's just what I know. That's a very intense espresso, very spicy one uh, from Dinsler. So if any of you guys live in Europe, you can order from their website. It's uh, a bean I can always recommend. All right, so there we are. That is the Eureka Libra, the very first shot. And uh, yeah, how it works. You saw my very first initial impressions and in getting to know the machine. I've not read anything about it in the manual. So that FH just tells you that there's some kind of weighing fault and you have to remove the portafilter, put it back in, but then the rest it does on its own. And it was within one tenth of a gram. So that's pretty awesome. So far, so good. As I mentioned, I'm going to be using this. I'll write down some data and come back with my results in a future video. In the meantime, feel free to have a look in the video description down below if you would like to find this yourself on Amazon. And until next time, I say happy coffee drinking and happy espresso drinking. Bye now.